Jared Sutton. So we're just waiting to get underway. The Roosters are running to the northern end of the ground. They got the breeze slightly, but getting it underway. This will be a blockbuster here from Lang Park. Round nine Friday night football live streaming here on Simply Rugby League. And Corey Jensen takes the first hit up of the game. Put down heavily there by Nat Butcher. And now it was a high pass. Had to be taken in quickly there by Brennan Perkura. Who last time when he played, and lasted five minutes, he got knocked down and it really ruined all the cohesion in this Brisbane side. They don't want another instance like that. Carrigan. Pulled to ground just outside his 40. Jensen. First hit up of the night. Targeting little Sam Walker. He had a blinder last week against the Dragons in that 60 points to 18 victory. As now Reynolds shoves it high. It's bouncing around. And it was lucky Tedesco got it. But that was danger time there for the Roosters back free. They were flying through there, the Broncos. Well, they could have brought a bit of disappointment in their life there if they let that ball bounce too much longer. And now Brandon Smith taking a charge from dummy half on his own 30-metre line. Followed up by the by Lindsay Collins of Queensland, who has come back home. He'll be certainly there in a Maroons jersey in a couple of weeks' time. Now to Desco. That's a good charge there from the skipper inside Brisbane Territory. So both teams have completed sets as Walking Out puts it high. Another wobbling sort of kick. Oh, they nearly collided the back there, Walsh. And also Dean Marin and, and Walsh took it, but a little bit of confusion there at the back. And now Mariner. Was there a high tackle by the Roosters? No, says the referee. So the referee's going to have a big bearing on this game because we don't want to see too many penalties. Stop, start. That will certainly suit the Roosters' side. Brisbane love the game to flow. And for the spectators' sake as well, we want to see this game flowing tonight. Now they come to the blind side. This is Mam deciding to run. Gets him inside. Bruce's territory is a free flowing so far at Lang Park. They put it nice and high. And Dominic Young is weighing in 24. And Reese Walsh comes up with a beauty. The crowd are loving that one. The desk go take it and run down the blind side. So if you'd like to have your say, leave it in the chat. And don't forget to press subscribe to see all the latest content. And there's an error here by the Roosters. They've gone without the football. Big defensive pressure there. Suali he went without it. Early pressure within the first three minutes of this game. It feels a bit like an origin match here. Yeah, we just took his eyes off the seat in there. Joseph Akusa Suali. Big shot there by Billy Walters. Carrigan driving through with Jordan Ricky, the hitman. And we're going to have a scrum. So a midfield scrum. We've got three. Three on the left and right here. They come to the right, straight to Reynolds. And an inside ball there to Staggs. Well, he scored last time here at Lang Park against the Roosters. He hasn't scored many tries this year. He'd like to get another one. This is Jordan Ricky now. Back pedaling towards the Roosters try line. They're seven metres out. Whilst the dummy half gets it straight to Jensen. Jensen! Oh, he can see the line, but he's been held up. He can't get it down. Well, that's good defense there by the Roosters. They're going to have to be really on top of their defense tonight. Carrigan. Couple of meters out. We've got a six to get here, so already pressure here on the Roosters. Reynolds throws a big dummy. And he's pulled down four meters out from the line. Wallace from dummy half. So far this year, he's found some ways to the try from those sneaky dummy half runs. Now Reynolds on the half. Flicks it out the back. That's come off a roost. That should be six to go again. Walsh has got the ball. Look out for him. He puts a kick out on the first tackle. They're coming through, but Walker's got to run it over the dead ball line. Well, the, the Brisbane players are pleading that Walsh was taken out when he kicked the ball. I think it was all okay. I don't... 
Uh, I, don't, I don't think there was much in it anyway. I think that was the right decision. And so we've got a line drop out the going for the short one. Well, he changed his idea. He went from the right side. He's gone to the left. He's bad back nice, and the Roosters will come up with it here. And it's a great play. Watson's going to be the man playing the football. Well, that was a very risky play that's come off here for the for the Chooks. The boys from Bondi. Big defensive set here by the Brisbane Broncos. As now, Nafu White in the starting side, the 19 jersey 15 gets him up to the 30. It's only the fourth, it's only the fourth tackle. They haven't gone much yardage. Walker floats it nice and wide to Manu. Tries to stand up Cobbo. And Cobbo is coming up for a brilliant tackle. This is tackle five now. They go back there to Watson. He's going to have to put the kick in. They looked a bit disorganized there, the Roosters, on the last. Mariner took that nicely. It was a swirling torpedo. There's not much breeze here, but they're putting up these torpedoes so far. There has been one mil rain so far. But I don't think they'll have any impact on this game tonight. I hope you're enjoying from where we are throughout the world. Papua New Guinea, Samoa. Canada, in South America, and also in Europe. He's man running the football, and he's 30 metres out from the, from the Roosters' line. Quick by the ball, Wallace puts a kick in. It was charged down by Tedesco. It's been recovered here by Adam Reynolds. He beats the tackle. They've got six more tackles here now, the Bronx, and he's been dragged down there. So that's the first tackle. Stags goes short to Ricky. Takes him closer to the 20. He's paying ass now. Trying to line himself up there. Gets the ball away to Corey Jensen. They just turn to go forward. And he's five metres out from the line. What's Reynolds and Walsh and Man going to do here? Man has got it. He throws a dummy. Walker put his body on the line there. So did Nat Butcher. Ass. Carrigan going across field. Trying to get the ball away, but he can't. And he's finally put to ground. This is tackle five now. They're five metres out. They go to Reynolds. Puts the kick in nicely. Ricky charging through, but he's lost the football. And he's got a problem with a peck here as well. So we're going to go upstairs. This should be no try. I'm sure Jordan Ricky, as he tried to put the football down, has lost it. And he's hurt himself as well. Well, Reynolds put a nice kick in. Now, he actually kicked it. The grubber kick over the knees of the Roosters defenders. That's a nice kick from the veteran halfback, Adam Reynolds. Now, they're also checking to make sure that Reynolds wasn't taken out. Illegally, he either threw a trip or just tackled late. Now, you can see that Kiri has stuck a boot out. He's also taking him late, the former teammates at South Sydney. Now, Ricky's definitely dropped the football. There's no question about that. They're just checking now with Adam Reynolds from the kick. And they're also looking if this is going to be a sin bin as well. That's another thing they'll be looking at here. It's Luke Keary that they're looking at. Well, he's had plenty of headlines this week. He doesn't want plenty of headlines in this game. We're just over seven minutes old. They're checking the grounding now. No, he hasn't grounded it. He's dropped it. He's, he's got a fingertip on it and lost it. Now, he's got up okay now, at least Jordan Ricky. Well, at least for the time being. So we're just waiting for a decision from the bunker here. Jared Sutton. There'll be no try. The matter is we've just got to find out what the decision is. It's no try. There's no question about that. So it's a penalty here now to the Brisbane side for tackling the man late after the kick. So... They've got another attacking wave coming here, the Broncos. Well, what trick shots have they got so far? Well, they've, pulled, they've tried some early. How many more have they got? Reynolds. Oh, that pass was a bad one. They've just got their timing wrong so far here, Brisbane. They overran at that time, the um, decoy runners. And Walsh had to clean it up. 10 metres out from the line. Reynolds just goes short to Payne Haas. And Watson stood his ground. 
They come to the right. This is Reynolds out the back to Mam. Gets it on a Ricky. He won't be denied this time. And it's Brisbane are on the board first here at Lang Park. Well, last time it was it was the Roosers. A bit of a scuffle in the back play. There's not much in that. And the Brisbane Broncos, Jordan Ricky, was denied earlier. But he can't be, not, be denied this time. And it's 4-0. A good strong run here. Reynolds out the back to Mam. Lovely short ball. He targeted again Luke Keery. Luke Keery was in two minds. And then it was up to Angus Crichton to make the call. Was it Angus Crichton? No, it was the young winger, Junior Ponger. Had to contend with a big fella. No chance of stopping him from five metres out. And the Murray All-Stars player puts it down. And makes it four points to nil here. First try to Brisbane. Funny enough, in Vegas, it was Joey Manu who scored off an intercept in the first five minutes. This time, it goes to Brisbane. And it's now been confirmed up by Jared Sutton. Well, it was a nice move here. This is what Brisbane do so well. They've got all his bodies in motion. And the Roosters just couldn't contend with it anymore. They've been on their trial line for about four or five sets now. Too much power and strength as Reynolds puts it over. So it's six points to nil here at Lane Park. I was just trying to mention before, if you want to see any videos like this, press on the subscribe button as you can see below. We've also got the interactive scoreboard. And also we've got some games too. Firstly, it's the footy tipping video. This is if you press on the subscribe button. And then we've got the Dolphins and Manly tomorrow night. Sorry, Thursday night. I apologise. And as I said, I'll give you the full time score between the Manoringa Seagulls and the Canberra Raiders, which was played there at Brookvale early, earlier tonight. So that's a good start for Brisbane. That was a good shot as well on Jensen. Lindsay Collins wasn't happy with his team's defensive effort earlier, so he put a big shot on there. That might inspire them to do something. Piakura. Now followed up by Payne Haas. Driving his way to the 30 metre line. Well, already in this game, Brisbane have had to make four times less tackles than the Sydney Roosters. And Sydney Roosters are starting to field already in this stage. This is Jensen now. Gets him inside. Roosters territory. Ten minutes gone. It's 6-0 to Brisbane. Over the Roosters. This is going to be a cracking game of footy here tonight. And Dominic Young has been put on the seat of his pants there. Just outside his 10. Tedesco going short. No way to move there. That was Suali'i. That was That's heavy contact there. On Connor Watson. No Victor Radley tonight. He's still out with that hamstring problem. Butcher out the back to Smith. Now it's Tedesco. He had a blinder in Vegas. James Tedesco. They need that form here again tonight. They come to the left. This is Keery now. They go out wider to Crichton. Six more tackles as well. Crichton's gone straight through. He's fanned them away like flies. And he's now just inside the Brisbane 20. This is the first tackle. They've got numbers to the right. Kiri decides to run the football, but they had a plethora of players to the right. Brisbane have all regrouped, but it's six to go again. It's a more pressure on the Brisbane defence. Watson, Walker, Tedesco, Dominic Young for the corner. Flicks it back inside, and Joey Manu will equalise here. Six points to four. It's a try to the Roosters, but a beautiful play on the right-hand side. Dominic Young flung the ball back in like... Manu did in Vegas. It was a bit of deja vu there. Wasn't It wasn't as good as a pass as Joey Manu. But it was this break on the left-hand side by Crichton. And then a quick play of the ball from the Kiri run. They just spread it to the right. They were just running out of troops there, Brisbane. Young got outside his winger, Jesse Arthurs. Beautiful ball back on the inside. And Joey Manu runs it around to improve the position here for Sam Walker. Beautiful play, straight in front of the chest 
clinical passing, and a beautiful ball back on the inside from Dom Young, back to Joey Manu, a perfect international wing centre combination, and Brisbane have a chance to level it all up here at Lane Park. Well, what a game it's been so far. It's been free-flowing, attack from inside their own halves, a good battle up front. We've seen the dummy halves move around and and push the extremities on those marker defences. And here comes Walker. He puts it straight over the black dot. So the scoreline is now eight points to six. Six points all, sorry. So we'll also go through the New South Wales Cup games also at halftime as well. Hope you're enjoying this so far. So just having a quick look at the stats at this stage of the game while we're just waiting for the kickoff to get back underway here. But it's been one, it's been hell of a fast game so far here at Lang Park. There's only been a couple of penalties. There's been non-stop action. It's been plenty of, plenty of entertainment for the crowd here. There's, I think they've been nearly close to a sound here at Lang Park tonight. They reckon there was only about 4,000 at Stone Australia last night, which was very disappointing. But hopefully tonight we can get a salad here at Lang Park. The two teams are playing great footy at the moment. White now plays it on the 30-metre line. He's own end of the ground. Following up there was Butcher. Gets 10 metres for his side. Watson. Kiri. Now it goes to Crichton. Can't get the ball away. And it's his former teammate, Adam Reynolds, who holds him up. Last tackle now. This is Walker. Drives it downfield with a bit of a wobbly old boot. Walsh does very well to come back. Nearly beats the first man. And he's finally been pulled down just on his 30-meter line. So Brisbane. I think the big boys will be sucking in on both sides at the moment. I think substitutions will be very vital for both teams at the moment. Well... You got Sia Wong for the Roosters, obviously Terrell May. And on the other side, you've got Wilson, Smoothie, Everington, and Fletcher Baker. He's carrying it out the back to man. Here they go to Piakura. Well, that was a high tackle for sure. Yes, it's a penalty. Penalty there to the Brisbane side. Well, Sam Walker's claiming that it's actually bounced off, and yep, it's a penalty. Yep, so Ashley Klein is not going to deter his decision. The actual high tackle was actually from Nat Butcher. It wasn't Sam Walker. It was Nat Butcher. Just crept up around the chin area. And he's been put on report for it as well. So they're going to find the sideline. So another golden opportunity for Brisbane to get their second try of the night. Straight away they went from whilst that time to Jensen. So they hit up into the fray. Reynolds. Pass. Here at the Roosters end of the ground. So they're going to come to the left again. Reynolds. Reynolds gets it out wide to Piakura. Oh, he nearly got there to the line. A lucky angle tap there, but the referee sent six more tackles. Reynolds. Carrigan. Carrigan. He's been slammed in the ground. Seven metres out from the line. Wallace now gets on the man. Oh, he tried to put a kick in. I think he lost the football. And it's Luke Curry who comes up with it. Well, that wasn't the right play. He'd like to take that back again, Ezra, man. And now it's the Roosters' turn to try to get themselves out of the deep zone. But I can see what the Roosters are trying to... I can see what the Broncos are trying to do against the Roots. They're trying to move them around a bit and get those big boys very tired so that the little men have to make decisions in defense. And Collins now will play it just short of his 30. White. Well, this is a big task for him tonight. A big opportunity to start in the side tonight. He's been playing a lot on the bench. Here he now. 
with an end to end over kick there. And coming back is Dean Mariner. And he, I think he might have lost the ball there. No, the referee said it's all okay. But he's also scored a try in Vegas. He's got six tries so far this year, the young man. Well, he's a hot prospect of the future. He's Cobbo. That's a good charge. He's getting used to the playing the centres this year. He's Carrigan. Oh, that's a good run from Pat Carrigan. The young leader of this Brisbane side. Haas. Now gets it on to Reynolds. Lovely short ball to Ricky. Once again, there's some holes opening up here in the roots of defences. Walsh puts a kick in behind. He could see a bit of space there, but Tedesco cleaned it up very, very quickly. He beats one. He's still going to Tedesco. And now we're going to come to the left-hand side through Dominic Young, coming off his wing. And he's 30 metres out from his own line. And don't forget, we've got plenty of content on my socials as well and also on my YouTube channel. We've got polls and quizzes and also some fascinating facts as well. Manu now. Oh, that's a great run. He's still going, Joey Manu. Oh, that's a good run. 15 metres inside. Brisbane Territory. Now Kiri puts a kick in. It's not a bad kick. It's, it's stayed up there for Walsh. He beats Kiri. Oh, he got hit very hard indeed. We had that facial injury earlier this year. He's making sure he protected his looks there. He's still down, Reese Walsh. I think he's just absolutely gassed at the moment. This game has been played at a fierce pace. He's a strong run, and that's a strong hit too. Jesse Arvis now in the fray. Walters from dummy half. Beautiful back on the inside of the Carrigan. He's been pulled down by Watson. Last tackle. Reynolds on the blind. It puts a little grabber kick in. I think both teams just want a bit of a breather out there at the moment. The ball hasn't found the sideline or been knocked on in a very long time here. This is an origin game. We've got a bit of a problem here in back play. Jesse Arvis is in big trouble. He's not moved whatsoever. He's collided into the hip, I think, of one of a charging Dom Young. Even Dom Young is not 100% either. I think, I think Jesse Arvis is trying to come and fly and make a... Oh, it's a head clash. That's what it is. He's, he's trying to come flying in to make the big hit, and he's actually collided heads with this big man from Huddersfield. And he'll be coming off for sure for a HIA. That's what happens when you try and tackle too high and lose your technique. So the scoreline is six points all here. So the first try of the game, obviously, went to Jordan Ricky, and then following up was, jo was Joey Manu, who scored at the other end of the ground. I hope you're enjoying this so far from where you are around the world. Six points all. Possession-wise so far, the Broncos are up 60 to 40%. Completion rates are great for Brisbane, 100%. And obviously post-contact metres, they're 70 metres up. And, then, and Jesse Arthur's up on his feet now. That's a good sign for him. And so he'll go off for a HIA. The big factor, Kobe Herring is going to come on in Jersey 16. The big factor in this game so far has been the tackles. 119 to Roosters, 63 to Brisbane. And what effect will that have in the last 10 minutes of this first half and towards the and start of this second half as well? We'll have to wait to find out in this one. So there's a bit of blood coming out of his nose as well, but I'm sure he'll go up the tunnel and do the HIA assessment. Geez, you don't want to run in Dom Young's head too too often. So we restart play, and the man who's got to hit it up, I think, is Joseph Akusa Suoliti. And he's lost the ball. So he just lost a bit of concentration there. I think he wants to go up to the desk and say, mate, can you challenge this for me? And that's exactly what he does. So there's the first breather that we've had. So we've had two breathing sessions, really. Well, both teams can get the oxygen tanks back to full now after that head, after that HIA, that stoppage for the HIA now with this call. 
Now, he's claiming he hasn't lost it. Well, it's come out of his grasp. The question is, I think he's co he's complained that he's been stripped out of it by Pat Carrigan, but he hasn't got the decision there going his way, and that's the challenge gone for the Roosters for the night. So they're down to nothing. So if they get a, if they don't get a call that goes their way, and it's absolutely blatant, the referee's got it wrong. Well, they've wasted the challenge. Sometimes those 50-50 calls, you just got to take them and back your defence. They're all lining up to the right-hand side here, the Brisbane Broncos. So they're in the midfield scrum, 10 metres out. They come to the left. That's a good charging run. So a big opportunity now for Brisbane to hit the lead once again. Pia Cora driving himself to the line. Two metres out. Reynolds. Now to Walsh. Now Ricky. Can't run over the top of him this time. They shut him down very quickly. Walsh. Now Reynolds. Pass. Get that get those legs pumping. He's dragged to ground there by Nafuhu White. They come back the other way. Carrigan. Straight to Reynolds. Shows it. Now they go out the back to Walsh. He's so dangerous. And he didn't get that kick right at all. And it's dived on there by Lou Keery. Oh, charging back with Suali'i. Well, he wants to make up for that mistake. Collins. Smith out of dummy half. He goes to blind side. And it's Brandon Smith. Standing his, his 18th man tonight for the Roosters. Oh, I thought the Broncos might have been offside there. Referee let that one go. So we're halfway through the first half. Six all here at Lane Park. Brisbane over the Sydney Roosters. This is hell of a contest so far. Entertaining stuff end to end here in the in the Queensland capital. My name is Todd Baness here on Simply Rugby League for this Friday night clash. Fifth versus seventh. Round two between these two sides. Last time it was the Roos who prevailed in Vegas, 20-10. Can, can the Broncos seek revenge? Carrigan. Reynolds. Now Heverington. They look a hell better side than they were in Vegas. Already so far. Now Waddles out of dummy half. Gets a couple of handy metres. This is tackle five now. They're 35 out. Reynolds. Puts it straight up in the air. I have a question about man being offside here. He's got the ball here. He throws a miracle pass. It's gone behind them. And it's been dived on there by Brandon Smith. Oh, he was there in cover, Brandon Smith. That's a tremendous effort there by the, the New Zealand number nine. He's absolutely out on his feet. He's going to come off now. But he's done a job for his team there. I still had a question that Ezra Mann was onside from the kick. There's been some contentious calls last night. Um, definitely the try that was scored by Lindsay Smith. As now Crichton gets held back, but he gets the ball away. Now to Kiri. Put to ground on the halfway. Watson's gone to dummy half, so Manu puts a kick in. He's trying to find Dominic Young. Oh, the ball's bounced. Cobo's way. He's juggled and got it back. But the referee's going to come back, I think. Yep, he's come back. He said it was knocked on by Brisbane. He's saying it's come off the, it's come off the arm, the top part of the arm, and gone forward. So we're going to come back for a scrum. I think yeah. So what he's saying is Cobo's hit it into that butcher, so it's a knock on. So it's a scrum feed into the Roosters. Just inside Brisbane Territory. So that's three errors to one now. That's the first error of the night for the Bronx. But, geez, both teams are spotting some opportunities and taking their chances here. They're not coming off so far, but that's good play out here to the left from Kiri Tedesco now to Sue Lee. He knew he's going to go to the sideline. 
I'm sure his elbow hit the sideline there and he's gone on the touch. Well, that's bad play by the Roosters. On the first tackle, zero tackle, they've gone over the sideline. Tremendous offence by Brisbane, but this is poor play by Joseph Akusa Suli. You've got to get away from the sideline on the on zero tackle. Trent Robinson won't be happy with that. And so that's just a let off to Brisbane. And no pressure put on put on them at all. Xavier Wilson with his first head up nine coming off the bench in Jersey 15. Brendan Piakura. Well, that's just says last a lot longer than he did in Vegas. And so far, the Brisbane Broncos look like a well oiled machine. Wallace. Haas, he's lost the football. I just put the mock on Brisbane there. As now, the Roosters get it on now. That time to walk up. Pops over the top to Tedesco. No way through there for Jimmy. So they're still inside their own territory here, the Roosters, as they charge upfield now. Watson has gone to dummy half. I'm wondering who's gone to 13. Short ball from Kiri to Crichton. He's been so damaging since he's back in the starting side. He had a very strong game last week against the, the Dragons. Now White. He's been very, very impressive in the side so far. Now he gets the ball away to Watson. Well, that was a sneaky little offload there. I don't think the Broncos were expecting it. Now it's now Kiri with a long cut out ball to Sue Lee. Beautiful ball and oh, arm tackle there by Jordan Ricky. Walker. Inside ball to Collins. Great grassing tackle there by Harrington. Tackle five now. They're on a roll here, the Roosters. Walker to Crichton. The run around back to Walker. Crichton now puts a little kick in. And it's gone over the dead ball line. By the Brisbane team, Pekura. Couldn't let it sit up in the in goal there. Too much danger. It was like an atomic bomb there. Well, Crichton here and Walker had a bit of a double wrap around there. And so we've got a line drop out. They're going to go long here, the Brisbane side. And he's found it 55 metres on the fly there, Reese Walsh. As Lindy Collins comes back. Faces head on in the Brisbane defence. The fool white. And he's 20 metres out now from the Brisbane line. Well, Walker's in the middle of the field. Curie's behind him. Walker. Now Kiri. Here's Sadesco coming into the back line. Oh, he just falls over the last minute there, but he was looking so dangerous. That's when he's at his best, when he's wide of the ruck. Crichton goes himself. He scores. They're not going to stop Angus there. And the Roosters have gone back to 10 points to 6 now. It's 10 points to 6 here at Lang Park. And it's the Roosters who've had a good winning run at this ground. They've hit the lead. They've gone back to back. Well, Crichton went down the blind side. The markers were a little bit tired there. They were a little bit lazy. Well, they saw that Reese Walsh was up in the front line. Adam Reynolds was a dummy. It was that marker. They just caught the napping there. The outside defence didn't come up. Angus Crichton had just a bit more desire there to get to the try line. He puts it down, and it's 10 to 6 to the Roosters. As I said, he had a very strong game last week, and he's continuing that on. And actually, he's continuing on since he started for the Roosters. He had that a lot of time out last year due to mental health. A little bit of time earlier this year. And he's back to his be he's been back to his best the last couple of weeks. It got him playing for New South Wales and Australia. And the boy from tomorrow has got over the line to go in for the Roosters second try. So a handy lead about to come up for the for the Roosters here. If he can convert this one. 
Well, in these sort of games, any lead is valuable. Here's Walker. Right through the hay little doodle, and it's 12 points to six now. If you like to have your say, just leave in the chat. So it's 12 points to six. Been one hell of a game so far. It's not been disappointing at all. It's been lived up to the hype. Hope you're enjoying wherever you are around the world. As I said, for the Broncos, they win tonight. They go in the top four. And for the and for the Roosters, they get even closer to the top four. So it's a big game for both sides. And that's, Fle and that's Ian Butcher on the field now. Taking his first hit up in the night. Followed up there by the English winger Dominic Young. Tedesco. Trying to scoot away. But he's been pulled straight to the ground. Here goes Watson. Now Matt Butcher. Right in the middle of the field. Last tackle now, says Ashley Klein. Walker. A lot of high kicks so far tonight from both teams. And Cobber has to come back in field. So Brisbane trying to throw their way out of trouble here. Ricky trying to get outside his band there. The pass just didn't go to the intended re receiver there in Dean Mariner. Now he's got the ball. Tackled outside the 30. Carrigan. Man. Hikura. Walsh. There's a little bit of overlap there. There's another high tackle on Staggs. Referee said it was below the chest. Man now goes short. Xavier Wilson, right on the halfway. We've got 10 minutes to go to half time. The Roosters lead 12 6. Reynolds puts in a torpedo bomber game. It's a big kick, too, and Tedesco has done a fabulous job to take that. There was no one coming down on him, but the ball was just floating for a long time, and it, and it just dipped on him at the end. Well, as I just mentioned earlier, it's going to be the end of this half that it will determine will come out on top because it was high-intensity football to start this game at a fierce pace. Manu scored the opening try for the Roosters. Get themselves some 10-metre ground there. Watson. Back to that butcher on the edge of the ruck. Pulled down there by Carrigan and also Haas. Last tackle, so at this stage of the game... It's a bit of a game of forces back at the moment. Well, the Broncos were on top with because they're forcing the Roosters with their tackle count, but I think it's nearly got I think it's nearly equal now. And one thing I'm noticing about the Roosters they're making more yardage, and that is now being given away a penalty here. Offside. Well that's a that's a soft penalty. Brisbane going absolutely nowhere there. So that's the third penalty of the night here for Brisbane. They really don't need that. But I've got to say, it has been free-flowing even with the penalties tonight. So it hasn't really been super stop-start at all. And now Brisbane have got another replace on the field. Tyson Smoothie here at dummy half. He gives it on now to Wilson. Well... He's a chance of Brisbane to lock it up again. They'd, they'd love to score another try here. Carrigan beats one. He gets it away and it's been intercepted by Terrell May who's come on. But the referee's pulled it up and he's given a and now it's another penalty. Was it Marcus not square? Yep, offside. So it was an offside penalty. So back-to-back -back penalties here for the Broncos. And so they're going for the line here. So watch out for Walsh, Ma'am, Reynolds in, 
in this set. When are they going to get involved? That's the pressure. That's what Brisbane. So that's what Brisbane. I've got A form. That's what the Roots are going to look out for. Wilson takes it up. He's got a bit of a loose carry there, but he hung onto it. He's harsh. That pup, that was nearly forward there by Brisbane. He nearly went too early there. Here they go. Reynolds. Walsh has put it down. It's been kicked through here by Walker. He's regained the ball. That's remarkable by Sam Walker. He's continuing on his form from last week. He throws a long cutout ball now. They're away on the left-hand side. And Sue Lee has got them inside Brisbane Territory. But Sam Walker is an absolute genius at the moment. He's pulling coming in field. Supporting on the inside was Crichton. Will they need a Jones to death go there or they would have been underneath the post? Watson. Inside ball for Walker. And they've put it down. And now they turn defence and attack here, the Broncos. Stags flicks it out in the back now, but the referee's going to pull it back. Oh, entertaining stuff. There was a double knock on. Well, Ashley Klein is saying that there was no advantage. Well, unfortunately, he's not going to be able to overturn it because they, they've wasted the challenge early on. It was that pass that was put down there. Well, I see a Wong. He's just come out of the field. Well, James desco has got a fair argument. He ran 10 metres downfield and lost the football. Well, they decided to turn into attack. And so Brisbane got the scrum for it. That is an interesting call. I think they've been hard done by there, the Bruces. I really think that should have been... A that should have been a Rooster scrum feed. They took the advantage 10 metres downfield. And now Brisbane working their way out of trouble. But the Roosters are running hot there. They found a little bit of space down that left-hand side. And then they went straight away back to the middle of the field with that running to the advantage line at full tilt. And the Brisbane boys were absolutely on the rack there. He's Carrigan. Reynolds. He's Walsh. He throws the ball. And there's no one at home here. This is Ponga. Gets on a Suli. He beats one. Gets it inside. And Crichton will go in for a double. Well, the Roosters are turning it on here in Brisbane. That's why they got a good record here. 16 points to six with a kick to come. And Trent Robinson has got a little bit of a smile on his face. Well, they'll... I uh, certainly denied a scrum fee there earlier. Well, Brisbane try to try to take the risk. Reese Walsh again throws a poor pass, and then straight away the Roosters turn defence and attack. Sue Lee beats one, gets the ball back on the inside, and Angus Crichton has gone back to back here and given the Roosters a ten point lead with four minutes to go to half time. Well, the, the Brisbane Broncos were going full out attack there. But it didn't come off. And if it doesn't come off, that's the risk. And then when the Roosters really turn it on and take the advantage, that's what they did there. They got the superstars in the back line too. Manu, Suli'i, Tedesco, Kiri, Walker, Manu and Young. And that's what they did here. The straightaway young Ponga got it right to Sue Lee. Fends off one, fends off another. Gets a beautiful ball back on the inside. And Crichton sprinted away to make it 16 to 6. And the boys have gone up on the bench as well. So 18 points to 6 here will be so handy. The Brisbane crown is stunned. I can't believe it. It was all Brisbane early on. But the boys from the Sydney Eastern Suburbs have turned it around. And they've kept the crowd of the contest. Well, we're nearly three minutes away to half time. And the Roosters have scored 16 unanswered points with a conversion coming up. He's got it.
So Sam Walker's right as on tonight. And just to repeat what we're going to do at half time, we're going to go through all the stats. We're going to go through the New South Wales Cup game that's happened yesterday. We're going to cover all the upcoming fixtures. We're going to talk about the earlier game between Manly, Ruringa, Seagulls, and Canberra Raiders that was played there at Brookvale. Well, what a start to what a game this has been. Well, you've certainly had your money's worth you're at, if you're at the ground tonight. And you've certainly got your money's worth here watching on Simply Rugby League here with live streaming here. 18 points to 6 is the score. If you'd like to have your say, leave it in the chat. Because I'm sure this game won't be over yet. We've got a, nearly another two and a half minutes to go here till the break and then another 40 after that. It won't be all over till the fat lady sings for sure tonight. Watson, good scamper. He's he's acted into the number nine role. Brandon is actually off the field with a calf problem. They're just testing out if he can come back tonight. Walker, who's had an outstanding game so far at halfback. He's just continuing on his form on Anzac Day. And Cobbo, charging back. Doing the tough stuff there. So Brisbane are on the back foot at this stage. They'd like to go to the break and get Kevin Wall to have a speak to him. And maybe get some fluids into him. Roosters probably want to continue and not go to the break. Sometimes when you're on a roll and, you, and with just before half time, you can sort of stop, stop your progress as Walsh drives it downfield. Tedesco comes back. Over the 40 meter line. So we've got 90 seconds left of the first half. The Roosters have scored 18 unanswered points. As now Young is going across field. He fires out now to Suali'i. Well, they're full of running now here, the Roosters. They want another try before half time. They want try number four. There's Young darting from the other side of the field. Long ball in there from Watson. This is Sia Wong. And the Fijian Tongan gets himself a couple more metres. He's Egan Butcher. Out the back now to Walker. That's flown out the back. It wasn't a good pass and it ends up with Cobbo. And that was probably the Roosters last set of the first half. There's a lot of Broncos in back play with hands on their hips. They're down on their haunches. It's not good body language at the moment. They really need to get to the sheds. And they need some, a little bit of a motivational speech here from their coach. Wilson. So we've got 10 seconds to go to the end of the first half. Now Carrigan. Now Reynolds. Out the back to Walsh. Trying to go around and he gets a good ball away to Ricky. That'll be the end of the first half. So the siren sounds. And so an entertaining game of footy here from Lane Park between these two powerhouse teams. It's the Roosters 18, the Brisbane Broncos 6. Goes 18 points to 6 in favour of the Roosters. Well, Brisbane have to score first. They've got to cut out those errors. And they're going to somehow stop this Roosters team from charging downfield and getting those offloads away like Watson charging upfield. I'm surprised that the energy's got Connor Watson making all those tackles in the first half. As now Egan Butcher gets the ball away now to Walker. Now it's Nat Butcher with the football. And already in the first three tackles, they're on the halfway, so they're costing a lot of... Territory here, the Brisbane side. So they're going to be in an ideal position here to kick on the last tackle. Nice ball there for Walker. He puts it on a platter there for Manu. Gets the ball away now to Tedesco. He gets it now back to Wong. And Wong now is going to be tackled. 30 metres out from the Brisbane line. 
Last tackle now. Walker on the blind side. He puts us straight up in the air. Walsh has taken it magnificently. High above the pack. He thought he was at the cover there. For the Brisbane Lions on an occasion, Reese Walsh. And now Stags trying to get some valuable territory here. Cobo following it up. Well, a bit like statues, these two centers at the moment. They really haven't touched a lot of football. I think they need to be more involved in the game, Cobo and Stags. And now it's Willison. Well, the back three were very, very quiet for Brisbane in that first half. But uh, for meterage, so they need to improve in that area. As we see a bomb now from Adam Reynolds. So both fullbacks have done an outstanding job here to start the second half. So at least in the second half, the, the Broncos will have the breeze. There's not much of a breeze, but there is something there. They've got to use it. The Roosters got 80 points out of it. And now the Roosters are struggling to get outside their own 30 here. As now it goes on to Wong. 35 metres out from his own line, but he's been dragged back and it's been a good crowd, over 40,000 here. So not a sellout, but a really big crowd to see this blockbuster game. Much better than the crowd at Stadium Australia last night. Last tackle. And by the way, oh, that's not a bad kick. Now, is that a 40-20 or is he just outside the 40 here? Well, it wasn't a bad kick by Luke Keary. Oh, he's got a toenail, I think, on the 40-meter line. So that means it's not a 40-20. Oh, that was unfortunate. There, yeah, because that was a 40-20. That might have been the, the most sneakiest 40-20 you've ever seen. Well, he just needed to get his... That stud back about another metre and he would have got a 40-20. Well, so far in the second half, the Roosters have made so much territory. And now Fletcher Baker, who's come on, the former Rooster. New will need to inspire his team against his former club. He wants a bit of revenge. He wants to have a victory. Get some bragging rights against his... Against his mates there. Reynolds puts it high. And it's just coming down into Desco. I think he'll be the New South Wales fullback. And now Ponga down the short side. Now, we've got a problem here. Adam Reynolds is down again. He's had a problem all year. Yep, he, his, his hand's gone up straight away. He's gone. Now, I'm wondering what injuries come out of it. I hope it's not the knee again. No, he's, I think it might be a shoulder problem, by the way. He's looking on that left arm. They're going straight his direction. Lovely play on the short side. They get it back inside. This is Ponga, but the pass is forward. And Reynolds is absolutely in agony there with his left arm. It looks like a forearm or an elbow. They went straight in the left-hand side. Yep, he's absolutely dangling on that left side. He was gone straight away. And so he's going to be off. This is terrible news for Brisbane. Adam Reynolds is off with a possible an elbow injury or a forearm. Hopefully it's not a bicep. We saw Jamal Fogarty go down with a bicep injury two weeks ago for Canberra. Well, the 33-year-old is on the sideline. That's not good news for Brisbane. So there's a reshuffle out there now. Walters has gone to halfback. Walsh has gone to the front line. I want to know if Cobo's gone to fullback. We'll see him moves to the centres. Smoothie at dummy half. Now Willison. Well, this is going to be a massive stretch now for Brisbane. Everington. How will they do with this adversity now? Smoothie at dummy half. Carrigan. Well, Mam's actually going to be playing at 5'8", obviously. Wallace has gone a halfback. It's the last tackle now, is it? No, it's tackle four. 
They go to man. Switches the point of attack. He's Reese Walsh in the fray. Now Walters gets it now on to Heverington. Trying to step his way through. He's seven metres out from the line. Last tackle. Smoothie goes to Walsh. Gets it out the back to man. They're going to run it. they got the numbers. They should score. Stags is into the corner. And Brisbane is struck first in the second half. Well, it was bound to come. They decide to run the football. And this time it comes off. Well, there's been a bit rocks and diamonds tonight. And on this occasion, it's diamonds. Beautiful play from Dummy Half from Smoothie. He tracked a couple of defenders. Reese Walsh is the danger man in the middle of the field. Straight to man. And then there was no one on that right hand side. They all came rushing in. James Odessa coming across in cover. He was the only man inside in defence. And Katoni Staggs scores another try against the Roosters. Funny enough, he scored last year here against the Roosters and he's done it again. How viable a try that could be. Well, you could always tell you there's a question about the, one of those passes from Measure Man, but it was all fine. The touch judge was in line. And Katoni Staggs has scored his second try for the year. 46 now in his career. He's getting close to the half century. So a tough kick from the sideline. Now Adam Reynolds is off the field, so Reese Walsh has got to take the goal kicking duties now. So he's just going through his swing and action like a golfer. He's right on that touch line. Here he comes. Oh, he struck it beautifully. No trouble at all. So 18 points to 12 now in favour of the Roosters. Well, that's positive news for Kevin Wallace. They had to score first, but the only problem is there's a lot of issues now with the halves. Well, they haven't got the experience out there now with Adam Reynolds at halfback. And I've noticed when Brisbane don't have Adam Reynolds in the side, they seem to fall apart. They've got to get it tonight. Thanks for your comments so far, Tom. Hurry on. Ben, Ben, Adrian, Lee, Areki, Nordley, and Joseph. I apologize if I haven't said some of those names correctly. Hope you can keep it in the chat tonight. Wherever you are around the world, I hope you're enjoying it. They're not out of this one at the moment, Brisbane. But they've got their backs against the wall now. Losing Adam Reynolds. We don't know what the extent of the injury is, but he was clutching at an elbow or a forearm. As now we see Carrigan. Well, he tried to make the tackle there on Young Ponga. And he hurt himself in the process. He knew straight away. Man, here's Walsh again. Get the inside ball to Stags. He's got Mam on the inside. Mam's got the pace. Mam's gonna score underneath the post. And we've got a we're gonna have a level ball game coming up. So it's bang bang at Lang Park. 18 points to 16 now. The Roosters can't stop this Brisbane juggernaut. Walsh again. With his magic and Ezra Man back on the inside. That's what it was. You've got to watch out for these two. Man, back to Walsh. Well, he's removed those demons back from round one earlier this year. And Ezra Man might have become the hero on this occasion. Lovely ball back on the inside from Walsh to Stags. And the 5 8 Ezra Man was backing up on the inside. He scored two tries against the Roosters back here. Last year, and he's done. He scored one here in the second half. So a kick in front of the post now for Reese Walsh, which should level it all up. We're back to a ball game, baby, here at Lang Park. This young man has got a big future in front of him. Maybe this is his time right now. Because Adam Reynolds is off the park. He keeps saying he wants to become an NRL halfback. Well, this is a big chance to do it now. And Reese Walsh puts it straight between the posts. So 
It's all square here. 18 points all now. If you'd like to have your say, leave it in the chat. Don't forget to subscribe to see the, the full match replay and match highlights of this game. And also of the footy tipping video as well. That comes out every week. This is round nines. And then this game on Thursday night at 7.45. The Dolphins playing the Maringa Seagulls. And just repeating the result earlier between the Canberra Raiders and the Maringa Seagulls. It was the Raiders that prevailed. After being down by 20 points to 6 at half time. 26-24. It was all down to goal kicking in the second half. So we're back to this one. It's 18 points all. And it's certainly been Brisbane's second half. They've certainly got the energy. They've certainly had the words from Kevin Walters. They scored the first try and they've gained a lot of confidence out of it. But they've gone backwards a little bit with losing Adam Reynolds. The key thing is can these new half com combinations do the job there for the rest of this second half? Carrigan. What a player he is. He's just got to keep doing it in this second half. Same with Payne Haas. Well, this is not good news. It could be a bicep injury to Reynolds. This is terrible news. We saw what happened to Jamal Fogarty for Canberra. But the Raiders did the job tonight. So maybe it's not all bad news for the Brisbane Broncos. This is the third tackle. Man inside the Walsh again. This is what the danger was last time. They won't put him to ground. They get it out to Ricky. It was a bad pass and he put it down. Well, there's an opportunity bombed. Reese Walsh is like grease lightning at the moment. He's just too fast for him. He's too he's too quick for him. He's just got that lightning speed off the mark. He'd probably like to take that pass back again. It was hard, but Jordan Ricky should have taken it. And a chance gone begging for the Bronx. A little bit of impatience there. But they're a team that like to push it to the edges and really test every single defender to see if they're up to the markers. Tedesco, Nate, makes a good bust up field. Nine short of halfway. For the first time in the while, the Roosters have got the football in hand. Terrell May takes it up. And the train station bell's gone off again. Six more tackles now to the Roosters. This is Walker. Inside ball to Nat Butcher. Funny enough for Sam Walker. His uncle and his father actually did two of his uncles and his father played for the Broncos. Well, what an irony there. Kiri gets it wide to Tedesco. Gets it on the Ponga. And on this occasion, it's Jose Kusasuali playing on the wing on this occasion. Walker. Now Egan Butcher. Driving his way forward. This is the fourth tackle. They go the blind. Watson to Kiri. Now it goes to Crichton. Tedesco tried to back now. Was he? Now, was he hit high here, Tedesco? We'll wait and see. Well, they're all going to Tedesco here. Well, the touch judge is weighing. I think this should be a penalty. It is. Now, he stopped the clock here. They just. Oh, he's hit him in the head here, too. It was a shoulder charge on Dean Mariner. Now, Dean Mariner could be in a bit of trouble. He could be in a bit of trouble for this. He'll be put on report. And he could be going the bin too. It didn't look good. There was no arms in the tackle. And he got him around the head. Well, he's called him out. Yep, he's gonna be he's gonna be on report. He's going to the bin for that. We've seen it all weekend. So Dean Mariner with a shoulder charge, which accidentally hit um, James Desk in the head. He's going to the sin bin. Oh, this is a big call right now. This is a massive call. This is a massive call. And a massive moment in this game. Well, 
There have been some big points in this game so far. You can put that one up the top. May plays it five metres out. They go out the back to Egan Butcher. Driving his way to the line. He's been pulled down by Wilson in front of the post. Kiri to Desco. Straight away now to Ponga. Spilt P-A-U-G-A. And he's been tackled. 15 metres out just in the field of play on the eastern side of the ground. Well, it's 13 on 12. The Roosters have got a one-man advantage. They've really got to take it now. The Roosters had to withstand that flurry attack from Brisbane. But it could be the other way now. Beautiful kick in. And Dominic Young has lost the football. Oh, that's a goal opportunity. A beautiful kick by Tedesco. And Dominic Young, as he's trying to put the football down, has lost the football. A beautiful kick. And Young never had it. Oh, goal and opportunity. It won't line fever there. Oh, and now it's a 20 meter restart. And don't get me started about that rule as well. As now we've seen Payne Haas driving his way upfield. He got 10 meters. That's what he does every time. He's like he's like the he's a rugby league tractor, Payne Haas. He just he just tours his way through the defence. Here he is again. Beautiful offload now to Smoothie. No, he's going to call him back. Going to call him back. Referee said it was held. This is the fourth tackle, man. Carrigan. Well, he's happy to take it up there. 25 metres out. This has got to be the last. No, he's going to tell him to come back again. Now it's the last. We've had a bit of false starts there. It's nice and high from Ezra, man. Oh, it's a beautiful take there. By Tedesco, but sure he was tackled in mid-air there. It was a knock-on, so. Well, if Tedesco took it cleanly, it would have been tackled in mid-air anyway. So it came off a Bronco first, and then the Roos lost it as well. Well, what an exciting game of rugby league here. It's 18 points all, 13 on 12. Dean Marrow was put in the bin for the Broncos for a shoulder charge tackle which hit the head of Tedesco. Tedesco's still out there. Adam Reynolds has gone down with a possible bicep injury, so the halves have been changed. But they're still answering up to the challenge here, the Broncos, as the Roosters have got the ball now. Tedesco! Tedesco's made a half break! Still going, Tedesco! What a terrific run by the New South Wales and Australian skipper! Quick play on the ball. They stay at the blind side. Walker inside to Crichton. He was looking for a hat trick. Gets it now back to Kiri. Gets it on the Collins. Beautiful tackle there from Piakura. Last tackle. Tedesco gets it on. Terrell May scores. Oh, what a terrific piece of football. 22 to 18 now. Well... Brilliant stuff from the skipper, James Sedesco. He made that half break on the left hand side. That's where they got the that's where they're running out of troops there, Brisbane. He beat one. He beat two. He beat another tackle here. And then finally got pulled to ground. And then a couple play the balls later. They come to the right. They ran out of they ran out of numbers here. Right next to the post was Terrell May. Puts it down. And the Roosters are back in front. Well, Terrell May, I think that might be his first try for the big fella. I can remember calling a game earlier this year. He was denied a try. And on this occasion, he's been he's actually got one. So he's finally got a meat pie, Terrell May. Well, he's the second of the he's the third of the May brothers. Obviously. Tyrone's the oldest, he's the second one, and then you've got Taylor. But a try to Terrell May. Bit more breathing space at least for the Roosters. Oh, he shanked that kick badly, but he's got it between the posts. He won't be happy with that kick, Sam Walker. Well, what an exciting game this is. 
roller coaster stuff. Brisbane were just on fire there in the second half. It went bang, bang, and then a sin bin. Reynolds going down. And then the Roosters hit back. Thanks, Seps, Ahuta, Warrix, and Norman. So the scoreline at the moment is 24 18. They're coming back. The Roosters, they've got the man advantage here. Well, they've got this young Broncos team on the park. How are they going to handle it? That's always been the question with the Brisbane side. When the, when the pressure moments come in the big games, can they handle it? Well, they got five minutes left with Dean Marin off the park now. Now, what's happened here? The referee has stopped the game here. Now, there's a, someone's going to go for HIA here. It's Ezra Mam, I think. There's a bit of confusion out there. Yep, it's Ezra Mam. He's got to come off for a HIA. Well, that's more bad news. It must have been. Oh, he's collided with Sel and Cobo when they're trying to stop the try. Well, this is, this is getting disastrous out here for Brisbane. Because he's got to spend 15 minutes on the sideline. So Corey Jensen's come on. So now we are going to have a reshuffle in the halves. I'm sure that Reese Walsh will come up like a 5'8", and they're going to probably push Cobbo back to fullback. And some will go into the centres. Well, there's going to be a big readjustment now for the Bronx. Watson and a dummy half. Well, will this open the game right up and give the Roosters a chance here? To really break this game apart. Brighton. He's had an outstanding game tonight. I wouldn't be surprised he's the man of the match. Here they go to the blind again. Kiri now gets it on the Sewell E. Juggled there by the man in Jersey 17. Or Sletcher Baker and then ends up with Walsh. Ragdolled on the ground. There's four men in this tackle here of Katoni stays. He's so big and strong, even out in the centers. Now Jensen gets his second stint on the park. Well, we've got 20 minutes left on the clock. My name is Todd Benes. Hope you enjoyed this one. This one is definitely going down the wire. Both teams are just throwing this football around tonight. As now Carrigan gets a magical ball away there to Cobo. He's 10 short of halfway. He's whilst down the blind side. Oh, that was a high tackle from Sam Walker. It's definitely a penalty. Well, they won the quick tap. I wouldn't be surprised he's put a report here. It was a high tackle for sure. Well, he was going to fly away. He stepped back and saw oh, it wasn't much in that. He did. He he bounced off his chest and bounced up. It wasn't much in that at all. I think they made it worse than it was. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be as bad as everyone thought it was. I don't think that should be a put on report either. And they found some good ground from the full the line there. On an acute angle, now they're eighteen meters out from the Roosters line. They're on the halfway. Now Piakura. Well, can the Broncos make this a star, mate, again? Four tries to three so far. As now, I'll switch the ball back inside. That time from Carrigan now to Jensen. They come to they come back to Paynars with another ball on the inside. This giant of a man trying to run over the top of the little man. Here's Jensen. Well, it's been pretty predictable so far, this set. No moving out wide. That's just play in the middle of the field. Walsh. Long cutout pass. It was knocked down there. It's gone backwards and Young's come up with that was a mirror. That was a Hail Mary there by Walsh. That wasn't the play. It was fortunate it bounced off the roost and on backwards, but it was not the option at all. And that was a sign of a bit of panic there by the Bronx. It's not what they needed that time. They just need to apply some pressure and put it back in the in goal. 
and see how they go. Now that Butcher taking it up. Now a possible high tackle there, but it was... Ashley Klein said it was okay. Now out wide from Kieran, now to Desco. Now was he hit late again? Pong has got it now. We're going to have another penalty. Yep, he was hit late without the football. We know Tedesco has had this history of head knocks. So sometimes he can be a bit of a target. We'll have to look at it live again. Oh, yeah, he was hit without the football for sure. It wasn't as bad as the last one, but it was definitely without the football. So once again, it's a soft penalty. And more pressure of a capital P for Brisbane. Well, this could blow the valve off here. And get Roosters closer to a victory. Walker. Tedesco. Manu. Gets it to Dominic Young on this right-hand side. Flicks it in desperation. It's come off the Bronx to six more tackles. Watson's got it now. Oh, that pass should have been four to Coles for, for sure. Referee's let it go. Six more tackles. Now it's it's Tatili Tubianua. He's come back from injury tonight. Now Kiri goes to the line. Well, that would have been a magic moment for Luke. He's crying for a hat trick. No, oh, he's held up. Well, the Roosters want to win this one as soon as possible. Still plenty of time, but the Roosters want to make sure that the Broncos are going to have to do it the hard way. This is the third tackle. Now walk up. Now, mate. Just scored the last try there for the Roosters. Gets him in a good position. Kerry. Oh, he got flattened about the ball. Now Crichton. Now Watson for the line. He's over. It's 28-18 now. And the Roosters are absolutely pumped. 28 points to 18. Connor Watson's worked very, very hard in this game. He's made a lot of he's made the most tackles out of both sides. And all that hard work's paid off with a four-pointer. Once again, Angus Crichton is causing havoc with that off with his hard running, and it was that offload that gave the try. He's been back to state of origin like tonight, Angus Crichton. Maybe he's trying to knock on the door for Michael Maguire, who actually coached him back in the South days. And Connor Watson puts it down, slams it down in celebration. And now they've got a 10-point buffer here at Lane Park with a kick to come. And this Brisbane crowd has gone quiet again. Well, that's what you want to do in front of these Brisbane crowds when they're all sold out or packed out at least. Well, Adam Reynolds is not back tonight. Well, worrying signs there. He's in a cast. As we see a conversion again from Walker. So 30 points to 18 now. And this might be the end now. For this Brisbane side. Unless they can pull an ace up their sleeve here. Or we'll pull a rabbit out of the hat. They've got to do something different. Kevin Wilds will be very concerned. He's obviously lost some players tonight. Ezra Mam's up in the tunnel doing an assessment for HIA. Adam Reynolds has gone with a bicep possible injury. So he's had a big reshuffle out there in the halves. And that's also pushing players out into the centres as well. Connor Watson's made 50 tackles and a try. What a deserved night for him. But Angus Crichton has been outstanding on that left edge, defensively and attacking wise. That's been the difference tonight. It's been on the edges for this Roosters team. They've really made like guys like Mam and Reynolds and Staggs have to make a lot of tackles. He's Watson again from dummy half. He's even got up to the 30. Last tackle now. Kiri puts it up. He's had an outstanding game after announcing retirement. 
It's been tapped back by the Rooster and, the, and one of the Bronco in pain. Haas has picked it up. Well, he'll probably, he will be probably here to play for New South Wales against Queensland in a couple of months' time here at Lane Park. All the State of Origin games are on Simply Rugby League as well. And also we have the footy tipping videos and also the Dolphins and Manly game next Thursday night. But back to this one, 30 points to 18. The Roosters over Brisbane and also Canberra won earlier tonight. 26 points to 24 over Manly in the wet at Brook Farmers. Walsh drives it downfield now. Bouncing around all over the place and Tedesco. Comes back and grass there by Walters. Billy Walters, the son of the coach, Kevin, 15 out from his own line. He's Dominic Young. Been very, very strong on that right wing. Nat, and now this is Nat Butcher. Very good game. He had, he, he had his best game last week. Now it's Crichton's turn on the other side. Tupinua. They come the short side. This is Walker now. Holds it up beautifully to Manu. Flicks it out the back now to Sam Walker. He does a 360. Gets it to his partner in crime, Kiri. Now to Royal May throws a beautiful ball on the ponger. He steps around and finally there's a knock on there from Sue Lee, but he claims it's come off Brisbane, but I think Sue Lee lost it first. No? Blind says it's come off a Bronco. No, they're going to go up for a captain's challenge. Well, we'll finally sort this out for sure. Well, Jared Stutton's the man in the bunker who's going to have to make the final call here. I thought it was off the Roosters first, and then the Brisbane Bronco lost it. Oh, jeez. I think that's harsh to say it's come off a Brisbane player there. Surely the Broncos player is trying to make a tackle there on the... Yeah, it's unsuccessful. So it's actually going to be a... Going to be a Roosters ball here. Well, I think that's harsh. So no more challenges for either side now. And the Roosters have got the the ball in ideal territory where ideal territory to put on another attacking wave and and put more salt in the wounds here and get those two competition points. Kiri goes short now. Terrell May. He's had a strong game off the bench. He's had a strong game off the bench so far this year. Terrell May. They're just setting up for. To finish it off here now, the Roosters. Watson goes to Terrell Main. He goes for his second. He's second for the night. And it's 34-18 now. And that will be it. The Roosters will get the two competition points now. If you thought it wasn't done earlier, Terrell Main has gone in for a double. And that will seal fate. He hadn't scored one try before this game. He's now scored two. And that is it. We're going to have to see a miracle now from Brisbane to win this one. I think all the casualties out there, all the changes are starting to affect this Brisbane side now. They've been out on their feet for a little while. And just looking at the stats as well. Well, the Broncos are struggling as well in the yardage. Eight line breaks to three for the Roosters. 14 offloads to seven. That's what's run them around. And then tackling rise, well, it's surprisingly they're actually still making more tackles, but the missed tackles is, is terrible. 38 missed tackles by the Broncos. 27 to the Roosters. And that's what's costing them on the scoreboard. We are back to 13 on 13, but... It doesn't matter who they have on the park. The Roosters are just overpowering them at the moment. And Sam Walker has a chance to kick six from six. He does that. 36 to 18. Well, what a dominant display it's been. They scored 60 last week against the Dragons. 
And then looking to score another 40 again. Well, they've had a strong game tonight. This Rooster side. We're just waiting for a football now. I just repeat the score earlier. 26 points to 24. The Canberra Raiders over the Manoringa Seagulls. So... That is a shock result as now we're seeing the go for a short kickoff. It's bouncing around everywhere. Batted back by Brisbane. And Tedesco's come up with it. So it's all gone astray there for Brisbane. They're trying everything now. But it's just getting away from them. As I said before, what was going to happen when Adam Reynolds went off the park? Yes, it's certainly affected them now. They haven't got the experience out there to lead them from the front. There's a knock on here by the Rooster. No, it was a strip. So it's a penalty here to the Roosters. Well. Everything's not going right for Brisbane now. Well. It's party time at the moment for the Roosters. They want another try. Can they go in for try number seven? They're racking up the points here tonight. Walker. Tupi, Tupi Nua. Satili. Three metres out from the line. Who wants a try now for the Roosters? Walker. Tedesco. Domian goes in this time. He won't be denied. 40 points to 18. And the Englishman puts a mark on the game. Four tries in 2024. 25 tries last year at Newcastle. And that's 47 tries in his NRL career in only 58 games. Well, he's getting very close to racking up half century. For Dominic Young, beautiful play along the line. A bit of indecision there by Selwyn Cobbo and also Jesse Arthurs. As I said, there's been so much reshuffling out there. I don't know who's playing in what position. On that occasion, it was Katoni, Staggs and Cobbo playing together. The Cobbo's gone on the wing and Staggs has gone out to left center. And another try... Has got the Roosters to 40. No smiles around in the Lang Park crowd for the maroon and yellow of the Brisbane Broncos. I don't think Kevin Walsh will be smiling at the moment. Trent Robertson will certainly be having a, a satisfied feeling inside. He just doesn't want any more injuries out there now. Kevin Walters, and I don't think Trent Robertson like any injuries either. I wouldn't be surprised if he rests some of these guys and take them off. Well, Brandon Smith hasn't been back out there since he hurt his calf early in the second half. Or well, might have been actually late in the first half. Now, Sam Walker's just taking his time. So, as I just mentioned before, the Roosters are seventh at the moment. So they can jump a couple of places. They won't be in the top four, but they'll be fighting for just outside the four at the moment. Now he's right on the touchline. He's 25 metres out. He wants a perfect 100% kicking record. Here he comes. He's hooked it badly to the left, so he can't get it tonight. But he's had a fantastic game, Sam Walker. He's just continuing on from last week in the Anzac Day where he's just causing havoc out there. Well, Jesse Arthurs is actually not on the field either, so that's the end of his night too. Adam Reynolds, we know, has got bicep trouble surgery now, so that's the end, I'd say, for Adam Reynolds at least for at least that 12-week period. We know what happened with Jamal Fogarty. So, 
That's bad news for the Broncos. What will that be for their season now? It's a big, big question for the Brisbane Broncos not having their main man at number seven. Well, they're just going to have to fight for the rest of this game to get some points on the board. Be a very happy Roosters coaching staff out there tonight. So the next five games for these two teams. So for the Broncos, they play Parramatta away next week. Then the Magic Round against Manly. On, they're both Friday night games. Then they've got to play the Gold Coast Titans back here at home. They've got the bye in round 13. And then the Sharkies back here in round 14. As we see Watson run from dummy half. He gets them to halfway. This is the last tackle now. Walker goes with a little chip kick. He's high on confidence now with Sam Walker. That's what he that's what he does. If he sees something, he'll do it. And Pierre Kerr has come up struggling now. I think he's just got a bit of cramp. Because he hasn't played a lot of match time in recent times. And Mariner played outside his feet. So for the Roosters, next week they play the Warriors at home on Sunday afternoon. Then they play the Sharks at Shark Park. Oh, sorry. Pardon me, not at Shark Park. They played Magic Round against the Sharks. Then they played the Canberra Raiders in Canberra in Round 12. Round 13, they played North Queensland on Sunday afternoon there at Sydney Football Stadium. And then they got the bye in Round 14. So they've actually got a reasonably easier draw. I think the Roosters and the, and the Broncos. Has now the charging run downfield. Xavier Wilson gets him up towards the 20. This is the last. They go to the blind through Walsh. Puts the kick back inside. And that's a brilliant effort again. And guess who the man who takes it? Lindsay Collins. Now, wasn't that taken in the in-goal area on the full? No, the referee said he took it in the field of play. I'm sure he took that actually in the in-goal. Well, referee disagrees. Terrell May now. Just getting outside his own territory. So if you'd like to have your say, leave in the chat as now we've seen Walker just drawing the ball downfield. We thank all your comments so far on this game and your support throughout the year. Don't forget to subscribe to see other videos like this throughout the year with live stream. That's a big shot there. But it should be a shoulder charge for sure. There's a little bit of a fracker happening there, but not too much in it. It's Ponga, who's been penalised. So just repeating the games coming up. We've got the we've got the footy tipping video out there already, and then we've got the Dolphins playing Manly that we played also here at Lane Park next Thursday night. So if you press subscribe, you get to see stuff like this. And so we've got less than four minutes remaining. And it's going to be a Roosters victory tonight. And the Roosters keep chugging on this season. And they keep chugging on against the Broncos. Wherever they are around the world. Carrigan gets the ball away to Mam. Throws a cutout pass. He gets it out to Jordan Ricky. He's gone out to right centre. No way through for Jordan Ricky. Held up beautifully there by Kiri. Now Haas. He had to go back the other way. Would have been penalised for obstruction. Trying to fight his way through the tackles. He's finally held up on the 30. This is the fourth. Smoothie out of dummy half. Here he goes, Tyson Smoothie. Now back to Jensen. 90 metres out from the line. Last tackle now. They go back to Mam, who puts the kick in. Straight straight down to Desco's throat. Bit of tie legs there from Ezra Mam. And time's just ticking away now. Lots of changes happening for the Roosters now. This guy's coming off really early. 
Egan Butch is back on the field. Now that's a strong shot on Ponga. Well, he's a bit of taste of his own medicine there. Wong. So we'll go through the ladder very shortly. The wrap-up of this game, the man of the match. Oh, there's an error here by the Roosters for sure. Yep, there's a knock-on. So, as I just said before, we'll, we'll go through all the wrap-up of this game. The man, the match, as I just mentioned, the ladder. Also, I appreciate all your support so far this year. We're nearly at 1,000 subscribers. We're soon about to celebrate two years of Simply Rugby League. Be all you people all around the world. That's why Simply Rugby League has this wonderful service. So Brisbane have got a scrum, 35 out. His man, who's put down short of the 30 meter line, Roosters down the ground. Can they go out with a bang here? Even they're on the wrong side of the scoreboard. Man. Walsh. What's the kick through? Straight down to Dominic Young. Beautifully red. So we're inside the last minute of the game now. Outstanding game tonight from Crichton on the edges of the ruck. Tedesco busy as ever. Collins led from the front with Nafu White. Walk and Kiri steering the show. Tremendous effort from those fellas tonight. And at the back, obviously for Brisbane, Carrigan led from the front. Haas doing all the hard work too. And I believe probably another player that doesn't get mentioned a lot, but probably should get mentioned. It's probably Corey Jensen as well. Lovely offloads here from the Rooster. To this guy's up the middle. He's got plenty of men around him. He puts a little left foot kick in. There's plenty of Broncos though to clean it up. And this will be it. And Walsh races down the sideline. He's got a foot in the touch. That will be the end of the ball game. So full time here. Full time here. At Lang Park. It's been a, a domination by the Roosters. 40 points to 18.